Will these seven mods make my keyboard sound thoughtastic, or will they result in utter terror? Let's find out! First mod, Polyfill. I first saw this hack on Alex Soto's stream. It's called the Polyfill mod. It's the stuff inside of pillows, teddy bears, and other stuffed animals made to make them squishy and fluffy. So why not stuff your keyboard with it? So I first started by taking the keycaps off of the keyboard, unscrewing the case, taking apart the plate and the PCB, and I even tore out the battery because who needs wireless? Am I right? That'll cause an electrical fire anyway, so safety is number one. Once the bottom case was ready, I started stuffing this thing with polyfill. And I used too much because it didn't fit. I ended up grabbing way more than I needed, so I stuffed it back into the bag. I tried to disperse it as evenly as possible, but this stuff is really hard to work with. I mean, look at it! It's just everywhere! How annoying! So that was fun. I couldn't really get it to fill the corners really well, but we did what we could. And then the typing test. I don't think this mod is worth it, it took too long, it's sort of hard to do, and I'd rather stick with normal packing foam instead. If you ever wanted to roleplay as a doctor or a nurse, this is the mod for you! <laughs> Introducing the Stabilizer Syringe Pack. I picked up this hack really early in my keyboard career because I hated the feeling of stabilizer lube on my fingertips. Disgusting. All you need is a syringe with a blunt tip. Of course, no sharp needles here, some lube, and a keyboard that is willing. <laughs> Simply take your lube loaded syringe, I'm using a dielectric grease, and inject the lube where the stabilizer bar meets the housing. This will make it sound 10 times better and result in a much better sound. All of those rally sounds will disappear. Just listen to the difference. Space bar. After space bar. And the best part is, there is no soldering at all. Do this to all your keyboards. If you really want to take it to the next level, you can do the Band-Aid mod too. Take a regular old Band-Aid, cut it into quarter inch strips, lift up your stabilizer housings, and place a small strip of Band-Aid underneath. And then push it back down. And ta-da! This minimizes the amount of rattle that happens when all the plastic pieces rub together. With both of these mods, you can have great sounding stabilizers in just a matter of minutes. And you didn't get your hands dirty. Do you like burgers? Mm -hmm. Do you like keyboards? Yes! This mod is for you. This is called the burger mount. Most keyboards come with a really stiff mounting system called the tray mount. The PCB and plate is screwed directly into the case so there is virtually no flex and everything is super stiff. If you want to add a little bit more flex and improve the acoustics, you can try the O-Ring mod. I learned about this mod from keyboard and I've been wanting to do this ever since then. I bought a couple of these 2 by one5 millimeter O-Rings, link down below, and placed them directly onto my standoff. Then I attempted to set the plate carefully on top of the standoffs without knocking the O-Rings off. But as you can see, the polyfill here is just pushing everything everywhere and I ended up removing all the polyfills so I could complete the mod. Now with the PCB and plate in position, put another o-ring on top of the screw holes and then put your screws back, being careful not to over tighten your o-rings. This adds a slight bit of flex and also adds a little poppy sound as well. These next two mods have been popularized over the last two months. And this is the PE foam mod and the Tempest mod. The PE foam mod is when you add a layer of PE foam between your PCB and your plate underneath your switches and to give your keyboard a more popcorn sound, aka poppy. I started by outlining the PCB on a layer of foam so that I could cut it out exact to size. Then I started poking holes where the switches would go in. I accidentally ended up cutting my left thumb, so Jake ended up subbing in for this one. He started by putting a switch in each corner of the keyboard to put the foam in place, and then for each switch, he poked out the center pins and the two holes to get them to be put into those hot swap sockets. Then Jake made his dramatic escape, and I took over again with a bandaged thumb. 
With the holes poked, I put the plate back on and started installing the switches. And here's what it sounds like before and after the PE foam mod. Another bonus item you can do is the Tempest mod, also known as the Tape mod. This one's pretty simple. Just apply a layer of tape to the back of your PCB and you're gonna get a nice poppy sound too. I'm personally not a huge fan of this mod because I almost accidentally started a fire because my keyboard had a battery in it, so be careful. Can you tell the difference in the sound? Can you? Number five, preload switches. Okay, I wouldn't exactly call this one a hack or a mod, but it can have a huge difference on the way that your keyboard sounds. In case you didn't know, nowadays you can buy preload switches for your keyboard, and they're actually pretty good. So if you can afford it, I would highly recommend swapping them out. It's honestly one of the best upgrades in terms of sound and feel. Lubing switches yourself by hand is so tony tony anyway. I mean, who wants to spend two hours lubing switches and getting arthritis? Not me. In this video, I'm using the Glorious Lynx pre-lubed switches, but you can get some more affordable options such as the Gateron Pro switches or the Novel Key Silk switches. Here's the sound difference, and it only took 10 minutes to swap all these switches out. This next one is a bit experimental. Okay, we've never done this before. Okay, no one's ever done this before. I wanted to see if I could fill all of my keycaps with silicone to see if it would make it sound better. So I mixed together some mold maker and started pouring them in. And then disaster stroke! I probably should have planned this better, but it got messy really, really fast. This video is really turning into a five minute crash now, isn't it? Plus the spoon I was using isn't the most accurate measurement device, so I poured a little bit too much silicone in some keycaps, too little in others got some into the stems and it was a disaster. You really don't want to go past the ridges inside of the keycaps or else your keys aren't going to be able to be pressed down all the way. It also doesn't help that it took like five minutes for this stuff to start getting firmer so we had to mix more but then I had a bunch of clumps from the last pour so it just ended up being really messy and clumpy and Disgusting. It was disgusting. And after about 10 minutes of pouring in all this silicone, I was quite disturbed by the results. Some of the keycaps could barely fit back onto the keyboard and I had to do a little bit of keyboard surgery once again. And what resulted was a squishy and inconsistent typing experience. So I ended up removing all of the silicone from all the keycaps except one, the space bar, because it actually sounded nice and thocky. Just imagine if I had done this correctly. They could all sound nice and thocky. If someone else wants to try this, I recommend using a more accurate device, not a spoon, and then only do the bigger stabilized keys. Next up is a mod I've started doing lately. You basically draw on your keycaps and make really cool designs making your keyboard look amazing. But I wanted to try something a little different. To pay homage to the Great Silicone Massacre of 2021, I decided to do a red blood splatter design on this nice pristine set of white keycaps. I took the keycaps outside, laid them evenly on my desk mat, took some red pouring paint and started splattering all over the keycaps. Blah, 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 blah. It felt like I was performing an exorcism, except instead of water, it was with red paint or blood. And after waiting 24 hours, they were dry and ready to put on. And I gotta say, they look pretty unique. One of a kind. No one trademarked this. Looking at you. After all of the mods, except the silicone keycaps and the polyfill, this is what the final product sounds like. Beautiful. Now make sure to go watch this video right here. Click.